Uh, what I want to ask you just quickly, uh, the film director, Olivia Wilde, uh -huh. has a new movie out, which yeah. is, she says is based on you, this insane man, this pseudo-intellectual hero to the incel community, incel being these weirdo loner men uh, who are you know, despicable in many ways. Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these people? Sure. Why not? You know, um, people have been after me for a long time by because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. It's making you emotional to talk about that. Well, God, you know. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly, many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults, these, these incels. What do they mean? It's like, well, these men, they're, they don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women, like, be picky. That's, that's your gift, man. Demand high standards from your men. Fair enough. But all these men who are alienated, it's like they're lonesome and, and, and they don't know what to do. And everyone piles abuse on them. You've been so controlled today. And yet in that brief moment, you got very emotional. Why? It's really something to see... Constantly, how many people are dying for a lack of an encouraging word? Mm. And how easy it is to provide that if you're careful. You know, give credit where credit is due. And to say, you're a net force for good if you want to be. Do you believe you're a net force for good? Net? Yes. In all the details? Probably not. You know, no one's perfect. So, people make their mistakes as they stumble uphill. Jordan's been a fascinating interview. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back to the temple. So what you just saw was an interview with Jordan Peterson and this, this interview has spread like Wi-Fi all across the internet, right? So you, you can find it on Twitter, you can find it on YouTube, you can find it on Reddit, which is where I found it. Um, you, you know, this, this, this video impacted me a little bit. So I, I just want to share my opinion on this. I'll, I'll give you my opinion on, on the surface level first. I just want to get a couple things out of the way. So Olivia Wilde is saying that he is the incel king, right? So... I was thinking on my head, like, what what the hell does she mean by an incel king, right? Is, is he spreading incels across the internet for, for people to, like, follow his guideline to be an incel? I don't think that's the case because that makes absolutely no sense. Or is she saying that he, he is the king of incels as in, like, he is the definition of an incel? Which doesn't make any sense either because this guy is married and he has a granddaughter, right? If he's really an incel and he hated women as much as people are claiming, then, like... Make, makes sense of what I just said. Like, it, it makes no sense. And my second gripe with what's going on right now is that what's going on in the comment section. You know, if you go through Reddit and you browse it through some of the Reddit, people are saying that like, oh yeah, you know, fuck Jordan Peterson. He's like a piece of shit. Oh, look at him crying. Like he can't stop crying. And when I saw all these comments, it, it it's fucking disgusting. It, it made me sick to my stomach that I kind of had to speak up and say something about this, right? So we, we live in a society where everyone's always like worried about mental health, saying like, oh, mental health, mental health is number one. You know, like I can't go a week without hearing someone saying some stupid shit about mental health. I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of it. But, you know, this whole incel thing is a part of mental health, right? But we never talk about it. We always talk about like, you know, what, what's going on with society, or how, how bad women have it. And, you know, we, we never look at men as, like, as the victim. When feminists think of a, of a man, they look at the top one percent like a fraction of a fraction of what a man is oh yeah all men are you know high in power position they make more money than women it they they control the world and what they don't understand is like that is not the definition of majority of men majority of men are regular people like me there are people that that work two jobs to pay for like 
you know, just housing. Regular men that work nine to five, people that work dangerous jobs and, and, and you know, and barely get compensated for it, you know? And we live in a pergamous country where, you know, women get to choose what they want, right? And like Jordan Peterson say. So with that with that being the case, women tend to choose for the what they think the best option is for them. So what happened to the rest of the men that are at the bottom of there that aren't being picked, right? This is this is the this is how incel start. Incel doesn't start by like people reading shit on the internet and they start following this ideology. It's 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 a societal issue where men are being abandoned. You know, they they are being they are being treated horribly. You know, I, I, here, let me show you some of the clip that like some crazy shit that I've seen on the internet as well that I got from Abba and Preach. Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God, because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. Like you're still ugly though. Can't change that. Maybe that's why. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot stay quiet any longer. Women, you have got to stop dating ugly men. You've got to stop. You are setting feminism back years. I am so sick of walking down the street and seeing the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life with just some guy, with a solid four. Like, I understand that you value charity work, but sis, go to a soup kitchen. Enough is enough. Are most men ugly? Are most men ugly? Yes. I want to move on to something we talk a lot on the show about uh, domestic violence. In this next viral video, a hidden camera experiment in the UK revealed some shocking reactions to domestic violence on the street. What? Too f up. Come here. Get your hand off me. Come here. Get your hand off me. Who was there? Get your hand off me. Who was there? Tell me who was there. People, People are looking at us. People, 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 People are looking at us. Get your hand off me. Stop that. People are looking at us. Stop that. People are So we showed you that because people were actually laughing when the girl was hitting the guy, yet people were willing to intervene when the woman was the victim. 40% uh, of domestic violence victims are men. And I think this, this highlights something we often don't think about, which is domestic violence can affect anyone. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think what's interesting about this social experiment is you can almost be tempted to fall into the line of thinking when you watch the woman attacking the man. Well, what are the chances that she could really hurt him? That is not the point. The point is not physical size, physical strength, the fact that it's probably more likely for a man physically to overpower or injure a woman. The point is abuse and violence. And it can be physical, it could be emotional, it could be psychological, it could be financial, and it does not discriminate. As you said, it, it affects men also. And I think, you know, you mentioned as we were watching it, it's always the women who stick up for the woman. Mm -hmm. But who stuck up for that guy? No one. Nobody. A man in society, if you have it bad, you have it really fucking bad. And we never seen you talk about any of that. The suicide rate for men in the U.S. alone is like already 80%. But you don't see anyone talk about that, right? And Jordan Pearson is one of the guys that kind of acknowledges like, okay, look, we have a society issue for men that no one seems to talk about. And he is trying to help these people out. He's not like advocating for people to be more incel. He's trying to do the exact opposite, right? If no one speaks up for men, then like what 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 happens? Like we, men have no father figure. We have no role model. We have no sense of direction in life, and like that's not good as men, you know, to leave other men behind. And like if you actually listen to what Jordan Pearson says, he like one of the things that people tend to quote him all the time is like clean your room. So when it comes to incel, what they typically do is they blame women. They blame everyone but themselves. But what Jordan Peterson is trying to teach is maybe you need to stop blaming everybody else. Maybe you need to look inward, right? Maybe you should learn to fix your own world before you think you can make a difference in the world.
right? So you, so he's trying to fix men from the inside and to, for us to be like better people and stop blaming everybody else for the situation that we're in, right? And look, I, I'm just one guy. I can't speak on the behalf of all men, but because I was born a male, I, I feel a sense of pride that I had to look out for other men as well, you know? And I, I, I feel for him. When I, when I saw this video, I, I didn't think like, oh man, Jordan Peterson is crying because like he's so messed up by taking all that drugs. I saw it as he is trying to help men bear themselves, but, you know, because society doesn't deem these men worthy, you know, th let's just leave them to rot. And, and, and now they're, they're the point, they're the problem society and, you know, like, and that's it and just leave them. And like, that's fucking awful, man. And, and that's, that's why I talk so much about relationship and stuff like this. And, and I'm, I'm an advocate for men. I want to look out for the best for men, even for the incel. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I want more incels. I just I'm just acknowledging that these incels are being created through the effect of societal. It is a societal issue, right? And if if society cares so much about mental health, why why aren't we doing anything for men? And like another point that kind of just pissed me off is everyone wants men to be more vulnerable, you know, be more emotional and being able to cry. But when a man cry like Jordan Peterson did, you know, how is he being treated? You look through the comment. He, they're like roasting him for like crying, and like, it, it's sickening. So shit like this makes men not want to cry ever. Do you understand that? I don't know, man. It's just one of those cases where the internet find somebody to say something that they agree with, and they just, they just run with it, right? Oh, Olivia Wilde says something about somebody I don't like. Yeah, she's a hundred percent right. That guy's a piece of shit. That's gonna justify everything that we've been saying about him. And, and the thing is, whenever I talk to people that don't understand Jordan Peterson. You will, if you look for things you don't like about this guy, you're gonna find it, you know. But if you actually sit down and hear some of the conversations that he had with these people, the interviews that he has, the way that he's able to put words, you know, from his thoughts to like literal words, it, it's, it's mind blowing. It's crazy how well he can articulate some of his thoughts. Like, this, I'm making this video right now, and you know how many takes it's taken me just to get to this bar? And I, I've said a couple of wrong words and all that stuff, but the point is that that guy has a talent being able to expand his ideas and and we need more more people like that you know and i i've seen a lot of his videos i don't i don't see the misogynist side of him and but the thing is i'm willing to believe that people could have interpreted that in, in that way you know may, maybe i just maybe i just never noticed but does that justify you know berating him like this when he's trying to defend for people you know specifically men that kind of got abandoned and have it bad I don't know, man. That's, I feel like something, something is wrong with this picture, you know? Although, okay, a little bit on, on, on the side note. You know, this just kind of proved my point that Reddit is no longer what it used to be. It's, now it's just a left-wing propaganda. And then, like, people are, are just mind-numbing robots that just follow whatever they, they hear and they see. And, yeah, fuck Reddit.